Talk about a blast from the past or throwback Thursday. Holy cow, this is a 1967 Airstream Overlander here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, you know, folks who are looking for or understand what this product is, uh, you know, you have an idea of exactly what kind of information you're looking to find. So I'm really going to let this unit speak for itself quite a bit. The last thing you probably want is, you know, some uh, internet camera guy yakking over the top of this while you uh, look for information. I'll try to point out things that I see I think would be of interest, but if you have any questions, do not hesitate to call. We are here to try to serve and give you good information so you can make a good educated decision. Uh, there are some uh, quite a few original parts on this that were quite surprising to still find. We have a lot of folks calling us all the time saying, hey, you got any old Airstream parts? And right now, I can tell them no, but I have an old Airstream. <laughs> um, the, uh, you know, obviously something like this, you, you know, the uh, pictures and the imagery are uh, going to let you know. It definitely needs some work, so I don't know if it's something that you'd uh, purchase looking for renovation purposes. I don't know if uh, it's something that you would purchase simply for scrap parts purchases or anything like that. But a um, uh, couple things I do know about it. The air conditioner is not operational. That much I do know about it. Looks like we've got a little brush up against something right here. Um, I don't know of the working order of any of the appliances of it at this point. I would, uh, considering the age of the unit, the difficult part is if we tested it and something worked today, it might not work tomorrow. That's just the unfortunate truth of the matter. Uh, so don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, you know, ask us, hey, can you check one thing or the other? But in general, I would say that I would purchase this under the understanding that, uh, you know, original appliances are likely not in good working order. Uh, replacement appliances, maybe. But again, given the age of the unit, something could work today and maybe not work tomorrow. <clears throat> Looks like at some point someone had done a little work uh, replacing some flooring here in the living room. Uh, they never really went back through the rest of the coach, just the primary living space. Obviously a replacement electric only refrigerator, although this was impressive to see the original stove. That is incredibly hard to come by. Aftermarket residential little fold down futon sofa there. My guess is someone had um, purchased this and stayed in it for a little bit before um, trading it in on something a little bit bigger, newer. Two brand new mattresses in here were kind of surprising to see a pair of um, sort of singles. Uh, so you've got kind of like a his and a hers set up in that respect. You know, so I mean, this this could actually make a great little uh, hunting check, if nothing else. You know, if you go hunting with some buddies, you don't necessarily have to bunk up together. You have split beds here. And the shell of this thing is in good shape. The, the shell should last many, many years, even unattended. So uh, that might be an ideal use for it. It could just be a good simple, you know, racetrack type trailer, something that you only use a, a time or two each year. And that's pretty much it. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.